Malaysia. Malaysia. Malaysia is a country that falls in Indian subcontinent. Means it shares the inherent culture of India. Malaysia. Name of the place is the Kuala Lumpur. Actually, it is Lumpur. Kuala came after that. It is Lumpur. So, names also Singapore. These are poor. These are the names that generally you will see in India only. Poor name you will see in India, then you will see in Pakistan, you will see in Iran also. Poor. So, we are talking about the Malaysian Airlines 370. MH370. Malaysian Airlines 370 that got lost in August time frame, I believe so, 2014, March time, I believe so. So, March time frame, around 8th of the March, this is what I believe so. So, 8th of the March, the MH370 vanished in the sky. 2014 March time frame, the Malaysian Airlines 370, which was Boeing 777 aircraft, and it was carrying 289, 277 passengers and 12 crew members, 289 people board on the plane. And plane, it took off from the Kuala Lumpur airport from the local time 12.41 a.m. means in the night or very early in the night 12.41 a.m. and around 40 minutes, 38 minutes means 38 minutes will be around 1 o'clock, 1.09, 1 o'clock and 9 minutes. So, around that time this aircraft, it became kind of away from the response. If you send any message to the aircraft, they are not responding. So, it is called as aircraft, it became out of coverage, out of control in 1109A. So, 1241 to 109A. So, 109A, I believe at that moment is the this aircraft took off at 12.41, around 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1.02. Around that, it has last communication with the ATC. That was placed. So, if this is Malaysia, if this is Malaysia, then this side is Kuala Lumpur. So, it is crossing full Malaysia and then from if, when it is leaving the Malaysia, it is entering into South China Sea. From South China Sea, then it will cross Vietnam. From Vietnam, then it will again go in, then it will enter Pacific Ocean. And there through, through, uh, uh, then it will enter into the China and it will go to the Beijing. So, from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, this aircraft had to go in 2014 March time frame. Okay. Now, this aircraft is vanishing in the sky and around 1 o'clock the when it is leaving it is leaving Malaysia when Malaysia there is an ATC there with that ATC ATC is a kind of aircraft uh, control tower so from there it is communicating and there is a good night so that is kind of it is uh, uh, communicated with the ATC so good night and then within 10 minutes it vanished out of the radar. Now, the military radar, secondary radar it is also called, military radar, so the military radar could kind of, it could track the aircraft post the, it vanished around 1.10 am. So, military aircraft is saying that, military radar is saying that if it is going like this, okay, it is going northeast, the plane is going northeast. So, Kuala Lumpur airport, it is, this is north and this is east. So, from Kuala Lumpur airport, it is going northeast. 
ओके क्वाला लंपुर इट इज क्रॉसिंग फुल मलेशिया एंड देन वेन इट इज लिविंग मलेशिया फ्रॉम देयर इट इज अंडर द मिलिट्री राडार द मिलिट्री राडार इज सेंग फ्रॉम रेदर देन गोइंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट इट एग्जैक्टली टुक वेस्ट कंप्लीटली वेस्ट एंड देर इज ए अगेन इट केम बैक टू द वेस्ट साइड ऑफ मलेशिया एंड बट इट इज नॉर्थ टू क्वाला लंपुर फ्रॉम हियर देन वेस्ट See, it is over the Penang Island that is west to Malaysia. Penang Island, then it went even west, and then little north. Then it came near Andaman Ocean. So Andaman Ocean, Andaman Sea, it is near Nicobar Island or the Sumatra Akeh Province. It went near there, and then up to there only the military radar could track. So that is one hour duration. from there then there is a immersat satellite so there is some engine some machinery in the aircraft which does kind of communication with the immersat air immersat satellite that kind of ping request typically it is called so ping request it was sending and immersat satellite was tracking it so from it from 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 kuala lumpur it went north east and then it went exactly west to andaman ocean then it went south and little bit east okay then it traveled 6 km 6 hours like that and then it went to the east south east of indian ocean so perth is a place in australia that is west of the australia so australia mainly population is in east side east side west side and west south tasmania and canberra or whatever it is so maximum population is in east south south east there is one city that is perth that is in west of australia so along the perth so if this is andaman ocean then if someone goes south and then if he go east then he will go along the perth down so there it vanishes okay so this is the scenario after that it could it could never be tracked this is the biggest mystery in the world and i was kind of the person who had tra tracking this at that moment only in 2014 every minute we were tracking what's going on it could never be tracked now tons of money that got spent in this this in the search of the aircraft that i believe uh, 58% was spent by malaysia some 32 38% by australia and 10 australia and 10% by china okay maximum people on board were chinese and it was going from kuala lumpur to beijing okay i'm just telling the case study what is behind the scene that what i understand that we will talk this is one case study that once it lost control with the radar main radar then military radar could track it and one hour it tried where it went west to andaman to towards the andaman sea from the from andaman sea the immersat satellite it could track it and then it went south east and from the perth it went south in the deep deep south in deep south east indian ocean this is one science another science is when it did good night when pilot is talking good night with the atc then after that the satellite this uh, aircraft went out of the main radar then then there is something called i believe acc okay aircraft uh, uh, c a c c c something like aircraft con uh, area control or something like that acc okay okay acc area control center okay so area control center and it happened in on 8th of the march so acc acc of of ho chi minh that is vietnam 
all falls in Indian subcontinent. So Ho Chi Minh is uh, Ho Chi Minh ACC. Now Ho Chi Minh ACC is also uh, kind of skeptical or curious or anxious about this aircraft because aircraft had to cross through Vietnam. Now ACC of the Vietnam is contacting the ACC of Malaysia and is saying that this aircraft is out of the radar but our technology is saying that this aircraft is on Cambodia. Military, military tracking system is saying that when it lost the last ATC control that is when it was crossing the Malaysia from there it took westward whereas Cambodia is very north it will go full of the Thailand then Cambodia is near to Vietnam so Vietnam ACC is saying that flight the aircraft is in Cambodia then Malaysian Malaysia ACC they are applying their sciences and they are also confirming that we had some signaling with the aircraft right now and indeed it is on Cambodia. So Vietnam ACC and, and the Indonesia and Malaysia ACC both are confirming that once it lost the connectivity with ATC then it is found on top or on, on flying on Cambodia. When Cambodia ACC is contacted they are refusing. They are saying there is no aircraft on our, our airspace. This is another sign. So this contradicts completely the military secondary radar where military secondary radar is saying it is going and through Penang, Penang Island on top of Penang Island it is going near near Ake or Nicobar Andaman Osa. Then Immersat satellite is confirming that it is indeed it is on, on Andaman Ocean Sea, Andaman Sea, from Andaman Sea it is going south and eastward and it is crossing Perth area. So this is what Immersat satellite is showing. None of the Australian radar is catching the aircraft. Immersat satellite is different system, radar system is different system. None radar system of Vietnam, radar system of Malaysia, they are catching the aircraft even though it lost the control. But then radar of the Cambodia, they are saying there is no aircraft in our space. Radar of the Australia, none of the radar of Australia could catch the aircraft. Okay, this is another sign. People are talking about Hamid Shah. I believe his name is Hamid Shah. He is the chief pilot, main pilot. So his, his nature that he deliberately because th this is one theory we are talking all the whatever came out okay so another thing came out that once it became out of the radar primary radar system ATC that is called then many machines were deliberately switched off transponder and whatever is the communication machinery that is kept inside the aircraft they were deliberately switched off that's why it is considered as a kind of hijack also who switched off those communication equipment? One thing. Second thing that comes into the, so these are the concept, whatever came into the picture I am talking. Okay. Next is when this aircraft is crossing on, over the Penang Island that is north of Kuala Lumpur, that military radar is saying when it is going westward, then chief pilot is from Penang Island. Okay. That is his home. What next is when, when uh, authority, they went to chief pilot's house, home, they found that there is a simulation, aircraft simulation that is in his house, that machinery he keeps and he does simulation. Okay. That simulator one day back, he tried simulating aircraft going towards the southeast of Indian Ocean. That Immersat satellite is showing the direction, exactly in that direction. He was trying to move the aircraft in simulator. This is what was recorded at his home. Okay, there are many boom here. Uh, in, in 2017 around, then there are many part of the three, MH370 aircraft that is found in Africa. 
completely west in Indian Ocean, west of Indian Ocean, touches east of the Africa. Many part of the this aircraft were it was confirmed that they belong to MS370, and those aircraft they were found in Tanzania, Mozambique, Madagascar, South Africa. It will span, I believe, more than two three three thousand kilometers, four thousand kilometers. More than that, in 4,000 kilometers, how a aircraft body got scattered? Not possible. If if it is coming from satellite, then only it is possible. But from 8, 9 kilometer above, if it burst also, then 4,000 kilometer impossible. What 4,000 kilometer? It will go in few kilometer only, 10, 20 kilometer, 30 kilometer. That's it. It will not go be. If this is if this is the horizontal plane and this is 10 km, if it burst, then 10 km, 20 km, it will go maximum. It will not go in 100 km. If you take circle also with simple mathematics, not possible. So, how in 4000 km, 5000 km region, that aircraft, it, it, were, it were found in other islands also. Okay. So, that much is not possible. But it was confirmed that the, it, the, those body parts from MS370 only. But what Malaysian government is saying? Malaysian government president or prime minister, he is saying at the end that we are now confirming that aircraft went to Andaman Sea. From Andaman Sea, it went south east in Indian Ocean deep and there it got droned. It went inside C. Okay. And that's how we close the investigation considering that no one is alive now. We cannot recover anybody now. So we are sorry about that. So they closed the case. So this happened on 8th of the month, Malaysian. 8th of the month because after 12 o'clock at night, day becomes plus 1. But in morning 5.20, some anonymous person, okay, he is trying to contact ACC of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, and he is confirmed saying that this aircraft never left Malaysian region. Because aircraft became uncontactable post the Malaysian ATC when it was leaving the Malaysia. That ATC, it did the handshake with good night, pilot said good night. Then it proceeded towards Vietnam through the South China Sea. From there onwards, it did not go. Means it landed in Malaysia. Means all people got killed. People who were boarded on the aircraft, they got killed. This proves that they wanted to kill someone in the aircraft. And this is how it would have happened. This is some anonymous confirmed that or he, it is written as opined. He opined his opinion that aircraft did not leave the Malaysian territory at all. We will talk about it. How investigation happened? If someone has to do investigation, what Typically, in investigation, what happens is whatever information you gather, you have to consider every information as correct. This is how investigation proceeds. You cannot say this is wrong, this is wrong. At the beginning phase, whatever information you are collecting, everything is correct. So, the per anonymous person is saying aircraft did not leave the Malaysian Malaysian space at all, that is correct. When ACC of Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam is saying aircraft is on Cambodia and ACC of Malaysia is saying indeed I had communicated with some machinery in the aircraft, indeed it communicated, it sent signal to me, I sent signal. So there is a communication, indeed aircraft is on top of Cambodia, that is also true. But Cambodia ACC is saying that aircraft is not on top of Cambodia. That is also true. When military is saying 
that post atc communication that ha happened after around uh, 30 minutes when it took off then it took westward and over the penang penang island it went to the andaman sea that is also true when imersat satellite is saying from there it went 6 hours journey it made and went deep south east of the indian ocean towards perth it is also true okay when when its its parts ms370 parts found in mozambique and south africa and tanzania then it is also true when pilot through simulator when pilot sa is uh, going to our south east south of the indian ocean in simulation is trying this is also true so he is from penang this is also true so okay now people who are near akhe province sumatra or nicobar they were found saying that in night around 2 o'clock indeed they saw one aircraft making big noise there they they proved it that we saw we heard one aircraft was making big noise here that is also true but many thing contradict each other if aircraft is passing through penang then certainly it cannot be in cambodia okay but a person he is saying confirmed that aircraft did not leave the malaysia at all then everyone is false full full story is false if someone confirmed found the aircraft part in tanzania till south africa okay i believe mauritius also it was found so from mauritius tanzania to south africa then certainly aircraft did not go to perth that imersat satellite it caught some wrong signal but they found aircraft part okay that is also true what is truth behind the scene what we think about the scenario that we will 